it's come up a lot uh the questions in the chat that i'm on for uh which that's you're watching right now i'm a fr uh, my friend and i mod for him simper underscore turtle and this is just a quick how to use dixper so normally let's see if i can find it in the chat most streamers will have a little dixper link pop up in the chat that they can get and it'll take you straight to uh this page not this page but you'll get to here after you log in with your twitch and once you log in you set everything up uh you can get crates for different games depending on what they do and different crates do different things so i'm just going to go over real quick uh when you get logged in and you get all set up on your twitch and everything get it all connected if you have been subscribed to whoever you're uh on dixper for on twitch if you've been subscribed to them for 30 days then you will have this and i've already redeemed mine but you'll get uh three free uh skills out of this it's like one free box and then you will also get normally a 50 percent off uh coupon and the the coupon will be over here and you could buy three different levels of boxes this is the most that you can get at a time but you can also increase the quantity and that 50 percent off code will also usually show up here automatically otherwise you just you know copy and paste it slap it in there you can pay with the card you can pay with your paypal it all goes to help uh the creator and technically they get more money here than twitch so that's the thing uh, okay nothing and then if you want to you can purchase a gift for somebody else so back to here where I currently have nine crates and you can see the chat now these crates are meant to mess with and I still have some left over from the last time so these crates pop out and give you skills now this can range from scares to messing with the, the movements of the game meaning I could make him his character and anybody that's partied with him so this is all that's partied with him boink um, anybody who's playing the game with him that's connected will also get whatever I I jump out so just as an example we'll do I will do a Gritch And they love like it. a geriatric 90 year old with uh asthma and his his heart rate's gone up a little bit so you can get that uh jump scares you could rotate the screen this is phasmophobia's uh skill set there's a bunch so they're all down here all ra ranging from creepy stuff to throwing them off their game breaking the screen messing with the music uh, obstructing their vision so if they start getting chased you can use the freeze you can uh, do a whole slew of things to them that will be entertaining at least to us and they have added a lot more uh, so you can make them think somebody's knocking at their door ghosts will make noises at them skeleton will do the boogie woogie on them you can even mess with them and make them think that they're uh, their gear is going off like activate the EMFs uh, make the cars go off make the spirit box say something and then just footsteps to make it sound like the, the ghost is walking up behind them easy fun stuff like this so what you do is I'm going to show the most important part of all of this which is when you open so I'm going to open all of them and it'll give me all the skills from in there so I got one of not mouse working you know you got two of this one and then it just goes on and on and on freezing temps make the ghost scream at them all different stuff and then that stuff winds up on your side over here so let's say that you've done it a while and you know what the streamer like will fall for and won't fall for so here's what you do you take that 
And then, so I know that, well, I'm going to keep that because that's just funny. But usually stuff like the mosquito doesn't work. It's just like a little funny. So what you do, you don't want that anymore. You go to crafting or disenchanting. Switch this. To disenchant. And then disenchant all. And then that'll take care of all two. And you will get 150 skill points out of it. So disenchant. And then those skill points are down here. So now I have 150. I had zero before. And then that can be used to go towards some other scare on here that you might want to use. So like what I like to do, just because I know what gets him and what doesn't and what gets his party and what doesn't, is I usually have a bunch of camp moves and uh, scare. So this is not really a scare, but this is still just uh, funny in some cases. So let's pop this on. So I mean, like, did we? <laughs> and this and the stuff right, like that will right, happen. Uh, sanity's not destroyed. So not scary, but kind of out of the norm, and can catch him off guard. Uh, so let me show you a bigger one. Uh, I don't really think that this one does too much. So go to crafting, disenchant. You will get two fifty for this bigger one. Uh, the different colored cards will give you more skill chunk skill points uh, as you go up so like the, the biggest one is these cards and if you disenchant them they're worth 500 but I'm not going to because that's one of the best ones to do so now disenchanted those got up to 400 go down here I don't really care for the bats disenchant them all I'll get 100 out of that disenchant Boom, 500. Let's do another one so I can show you buying. Uh, get rid of the burp. I only have one, so disenchant that. I need to get up to 750 for what I'm going to show you. Get rid of this, disenchant. Bless the rains down in Africa. No, thank you. Craft, take that out. Got 700 and one more little one. Do the fog. Let's just get all of them because I don't use that. Perfect. There we go. And somebody's already sending. Oh, I'm sending fog. Whoopsies. Not really going to do much, but it kind of like blinds the screen a little bit. That's what happens when you hit the wrong button. Whoops. All right, now I have 750 points, so I can get any one of the big ones here. And like I said, my favorite is the grudge. And you go to crafting, cost 750 skill points for one, hit the craft, and I have now made a grudge. So I have two of them now. And so that's like this crafting and this and the disenchanting. Uh, it's usually like the hardest part for people to understand because uh, they get the crates and they think that they're stuck with what they get. No, you can change it. So you just got to choose what you want, find out what works for you, what you like, what the what the streamer you're going to use it on likes or dislikes or whatnot. Because the whole point is to have fun, mess with the streamer doing the game. And you could do this on many games. There's Phasmo, DVD, Ghost Hunter Core, like all that stuff. So if the streamer has it active, just remember to uh, get the crates. Remember this little, uh, with your Twitch Prime, this is, a, if you have Twitch Prime and you're subbed, you will get this option. If you don't, you can still do the skills crate. And sometimes the streamers are nice and they just give, you know, people crates. Uh, like Semper Turtle, before he starts his games of Phasmo or anything, he has a couple tournaments where it's marbles marbles on stream and then he just uh gives the winners crates certain amounts and uh stuff like that 
So really generous, uh, really cool. Go check them out on Twitch. And that's that's it for this video. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Hope it helps people try to figure out Dick's bird a little bit better so you can use it uh, for your own benefits. Till next time.